Hi, and welcome to this video about the Fetch Decode Execute cycle. Each component within the CPU plays its part in the Fetch Decode Execute cycle. The first instruction is sent along a bus from the memory to the CPU, and the program counter is set to the address of the first instruction, which is zero. This instruction is copied to the memory address register. The control unit sends a signal to this memory location, zero. And the actual data is transferred to the memory data register. Cache is used to store a copy of this data. This is the end of the fetch cycle and so the program counter increases by one. The control unit decodes the instruction by comparing it to the instruction set as stored. The instruction is transfer the contents of memory location 3, i.e. the number 3, to the accumulator. The control unit now executes the instruction and transfers the contents of memory location 3, the number 3, to the accumulator. The fetch cycle begins again. The memory address register copies the new address from the program counter, which is 1. The control unit sends a signal to this memory location, 1, and the actual data is transferred to the memory data register. Cache is used to store a copy of this data. This is the end of the fetch cycle, and so the program counter increases by 1. The control unit decodes the instruction by comparing it to the instruction set it has stored. The instruction is add the contents of memory location 4 to the contents of the accumulator. The control unit now executes the instruction and using the ALU adds the contents of memory location 4, which is the number 2, to the contents of the accumulator, which is number 3. The accumulator now reads 5. The fetch cycle begins again. The memory address register copies the new address from the program counter, which is 2. The control unit sends a signal to this memory location, which is 2. And the actual data is transferred to the memory data register. Cache is used to store a copy of this data. The control unit decodes the instruction by comparing it to the instruction set it has stored. The instruction is store the contents of the accumulator at memory location 5. The control unit now executes the instruction and stores the contents of the accumulator at memory location 5. 